All right, let us compare Event Grid, Event Hubs, and Service Bus because these all are event-driven services for application integration and use Event Buses as a means to, uh, to work with event data. But it gets confusing because I guess you could say they all have uh, overlapping uh, responsibilities. So let's kind of clear that up. So we have Event Grid, Event Hubs, and Azure Service Bus. So the idea is that Event Grid is a serverless event bus. And I would say that you'd probably want it for Azure service to service communications. The idea is that you just have, let's say, um, you know, you're like integrating from service to service. So you're not deploying necessarily fully custom web applications uh, or traditional applications onto virtual machines. It's more for like uh, cloud native, cloud first kind of builds. Um, they're dynamically scalable, they're low cost, at least one, uh, once delivery of a, a message. Um, for event hubs, this is streaming data. So we get low latency, can receive and process millions of events per second, at least once per delivery of an event. And streaming, you know, because of the nature of it, is generally more expensive than traditional things like a queue or a pub sub for web applications, which is what an Azure service bus is. So reliable asynchronous message delivery that requires polling, and I guess pushing technically for pub sub, advanced messages, features like first in first out, batching sessions, transactions, dead lettering, temporal control, routing, filtering, uh, duplicate uh, detection, at least once delivery of a message. So it really sounds like, and there's one option here, or optional order delivery of message. So it sounds like Azure Service Bus has it all, but really it's not, it's not at the same scale as event hubs, and it's not at the same like level of um, like hands-off kind of approach that Event Grid gives you with serverless. Uh, but you have all those options there and you will use them all, but uh, there you go.